Hey guys, John here. Oop, a little lag. Alright, so uh, I had a viewer uh, named uh, The Cake is a Lie who wanted me to go over how to uh, build these double hopper speed multi item sorters that use droppers. Uh, and so this was uh, the design that I had come up with previously. So if you want a double hopper speed, you would need a total of four droppers pointing into one output chest. Uh, and then of course, you know, four hoppers on top. Uh, and then you would need item splitters and item splitters. And so it was a lot of material. Uh, and you know, that was, that's pretty old. So uh, I looked into it again, just to see if I could develop anything new. And uh, so to go over some of the some of the ways that this stuff works, because I don't think they're very popular and, you know, probably for good reason, because they were pretty bulky. And uh, so the way that I previously made them uh, was just like this. So you had, let's see, no, I still got junk in there. Uh, so you had uh, a hopper pointing into a dropper read by a comparator. Now, if we look at the way that this operates, uh, we can see that, if I put it in there, we can see that every time an item goes into the hopper, the hop, the comparator here is gonna give out a four tick signal. Um, and that four tick signal is gonna power the repeater. So of course, if you are at half hopper speed, then that's going to push the items into the chest. Now, the reason why this could not go up to full hopper speed is because this circuit alone, if we try to utilize the full speed of the hopper here to push items into the dropper, uh, because the comparator is putting out a signal of four ticks, um, what that means is that for the entire duration that the item is in the hopper, the comparator is going to be putting out a four tick signal. Uh, so to get into it, so a hopper can move items, uh, one item every four redstone ticks. Okay. Now, whatever that is in seconds, I don't really care. That doesn't mean anything to me. Um, but a dropper can move uh, one item every two redstone ticks. So that means that a dropper is twice as fast at moving items as a hopper. So there should be no reason why we can't just uh, up this into a full hopper speed sorter. And uh, the reason why we can't with just this design here is because if we try to put more than one item in at a time to go full hopper, what's going to happen is the comparator is just going to straight up send out uh, an eight tick signal uh, that's never going to turn off. And what that means is that you're going to have one item that enters the output, uh, but because the dropper is only going to fire once every two items, uh, then, you know, your second item is just going to end up in the overflow chest. So to make this actually hopper speed, uh, all you have to do is, you know, is like a dropper elevator. You just uh, cut off the comparator, right? So this is going to give uh, the comparator just a two tick off and then a two tick on signal. Uh, and what that means is that we can just dump items in and as fast as the hopper can uh, move the items, they're just going to, you know, go into the correct output. Uh, so just by adding a repeater here, that just, that brings it up to full hopper speed. Okay. Uh, so to to show you what it would look like if you just if you wanted to build something like this um, It's kind of tough to make it compact because not only do you need a repeater to power the dropper uh, Actually, I think you can do that just by doing this If I am correct Yeah, we'll test that in a second uh, but anyway, so yeah, you need a repeater to power the dropper, and then you also need a repeater to power uh, the comparator. Uh, but I'll just give you a little demo here 
Oh, that's right. I already have all the items. Uh, so this is uh, full hopper speed. And let's see. So yeah, full hopper speed, uh, silent multi-item sorter. And this can handle every item. So items that stack to 64, 16, uh, or if you happen to put a non-stackable item in, we can go ahead and show that. Because the only thing that's going to happen is this uh, non-stackable item is just going to go straight into the overflow at the bottom. Okay, and while that's running, so I also have uh, a setup here. So this is if you want to increase it up to a double hopper speed. Okay, so compared to the last one that had all the hoppers and whatever, I think that one took like 30 hoppers to make. Uh, three output chests, uh, and this one, it's going to be like two two hoppers per chest. Uh, so with two chests plus an overflow, you got six hoppers here. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and run some junk through that. So you can see that we're pulling down items uh, two at a time. You know, and it just, it's, it's crazy fast for a multi-item sorter. Nothing down there yet. Yeah, so it's pretty fast. All right, and this one should be finished. So you can see everything that we put in got stacked. Oops. And nothing in the overflow except for the sword. Now the thing with the double hopper speed, um, because the comparator power here is uh, connected, so typically with anything that stacks to 64, 16, this won't have any effect because they only output a signal strength of one. Uh, so if you put an item that stacks to 16 or whatever, it's just going to power this dust alone to power that repeater. Uh, but items that don't stack put out a signal of three. So that means that if this comparator comes on, that's going to power both. Uh, so it is going to make noise. But I'm not sure. I don't think that would have any effect on the system. Uh, let's see. What items do we have here? Which, it's not like I can put both items in at the same time, but let's just do a little test. Uh, because I don't think it would break the system, but I'm not exactly sure. So we're just going to lock both of these hoppers. Uh, and then put our items in, and then see what happens. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the item's still sorted, even though we had a non-stackable go through along with the items. Uh, so it should be safe. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Uh, you know, shouldn't be easy to break. Uh, but anyway, so that's a double the double hopper speed model. It's basically the same as that except you know mirrored um, and so I haven't yet been able to get a more compact design so this is you know like one of the issues with trying to make it more compact to make it full hopper speed uh, is that you have to be able to power the dust uh, in, into the comparator at the same time and that's kind of tough to fit um, so things like this, I haven't been able to do anything with that yet, but I've just been playing with this since this morning, so you never know. Likewise with the stair stack design, uh, it's, it's kind of tight. It's a little tough to get anything else on that comparator line. Uh, but while I'm here, so let's see if we could just get rid of one of these repeaters. Uh, so if we get rid of that get rid of that then this uh, should still be able to work uh, let's just get some repeaters 
So that, that, and that. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it can still work. And of course, you know, you can make those double chests if you want. Uh, but I went ahead and set up some, just some little designs here. Uh, so this is just kind of a way that you can make these. Um, so here, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I just, uh, I didn't really plan on, um, you know, putting the dust to the side like I did with the thing just now, because I didn't even think about that. But anyway, so this is just using like a water stream to carry the items across. So if you wanted, wanted it to be hopper speed, it would kind of look like this. Um, and if we just uh, throw some junk in there. Yeah. Then that's just going to get passed, passed by. And let's see. Throw, let's just throw a couple repeaters in there. And so those should come out down here. So overall, yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, and it's mostly silent, but because we're using the little water elevator, we have to shoot the items in with a dropper. Uh, and this is to go up to the uh, two hopper speed. And I wanted to show you something else that you could do with this. Okay. Uh, so if you wanted to go up into the double hopper speed, just give me a second to get all of this junk. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're just going to dump it all in there. Because, I mean, it is pretty fast to pull down. Yeah, so to try to, to try to use the water streams to make it double hopper speed, you can see that I'm trying to use two water streams here to be able to uh, feed the input chest so that we can maintain a fast a faster rate. Because uh, if I just use one water stream and one dropper or something like that, uh, you know, if we're trying to collect with one hopper, then that's just going to slow everything down. So you can see that we're using the two different water streams here to get two, try to get two hopper speed uh, streams of items. So yeah, that that's what it would be like if you try to stack up the uh, the double hopper speed model. And keep in mind that it's only making noise because of the droppers down here firing the items into the water stream. Yeah, so you can see it pulling up, pull up, ah, pulling the items down two at a time. So, I mean, it's pretty fast. It's probably going to be the fastest multi-item sorter you can make. Alright, and I think it's done. So all that, and it's done. Um, all right. So one of the uh, one of the other quirks, one of the things you can do do with this is because we're using two droppers to feed one output chest at double hopper speed. Uh, so what you can do to actually increase your storage uh, is to break the break it down into like two uh, hopper speed outputs, right? Uh, but one of the quirks with this is because they're fed, fed from the same input. What that means is that, so I can double my storage for my items, but whenever I have two output chests like this next to each other, uh, I'm going to have to mirror them, you know? So you can see that we have uh, the dirt and the gravel, sand, whatever. So dirt, gravel, sand, and whatever. Right. <clears throat> so the reason why you have to mirror it is because 
uh, like if I had dirt in this chest but not in this chest, uh, what's going to happen is is that whenever I put items in, because the items are going to get split between these two halves of the system, so I'll have dirt coming both here uh, and here. So if I didn't have a slot in this chest with dirt, then all that dirt that goes into that will just come out into the overflow, right? Uh, but it doesn't mean, when I say you have to mirror it, I don't mean that, you know, well, I have nine stacks of dirt here, so I need, you know, nine stacks of dirt here, right? That's not what I mean. I just mean that, you know, these can be arranged however you want, uh, but, you know, you're just going to have to keep in mind that if I have dirt here, then I'll have to have dirt here as well, you know. But that is an easy way to kind of double the output um, because, you know, the des this design, it doesn't utilize the space very well. It's not very compact as far as uh, item storing goes. But anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, uh, that way, if any, anybody actually wanted a full hopper speed, uh, an easy to make full hopper speed multi-item sorter, or a double hopper speed multi-item sorter, that's, you know, 99% of the time is silent, uh, then there you go. Uh, and likewise, if anybody wanted to use uh, dropper elevators, you know, uh, so you can make this with, you know, like, like Navy Nexus had the two, uh, or had tileable uh, dropper ele silent dropper elevators, you know, full hopper speed, silent, and tileable, you know, one wide. So those would probably be great for a system like this uh, because they're very compact, but, you know, just using water streams, you can kind of accomplish the same thing. Uh, you know, it's a lot cheaper than the hoppers and everything, but yeah, kind of noisy and, you know, I'm not the greatest with the water stream stuff because I never play with it, but, you know, that's that's kind of an idea. But anyway, so that's all, and uh, I guess I will see y'all in the next video.